Welcome back everyone to what should be a very short video on PowerDirector Made Simple. Today's video is about the most recent June update for PowerDirector 365 users. Well, to put it shortly, the June update did change just one menu item, but once again, it added a bushel and a barrel full of titles and overlay templates. Included were 14 new corporate video titles, such as corporate video number two. There were 10 neon titles, such as neon 01, and 10 corporate callout titles, such as corporate callout 01. Also included with the June update were 69 new promotional overlays, just in time for that summer garage sale you always wanted to have. Now, I like the one called Promotional 10, which I can always use underneath my photos. As of June 10th of 2024, Cyberlink still has not updated their web page. It only shows what's new for the May update. Well, maybe there's something new with an AI feature, but I tend to overlook most of Cyberlink's AI features, at least for the time being. However, something caught my eye back with the Neon titles, namely Neon 08. Now, most of these titles have an initial word in them that somewhat suggests what the graphic does. For example, Neon 09 says Disco, and when you look at it, there's a colorful audio waveform in the background suggestive of disco music. Okay, that makes sense. But now let's look at Neon 08. Using a little video editing magic by deleting the last 10 seconds, I have placed Neon 08 on my timeline and opened the advanced title editing window. I have already temporarily disabled the text element just to see what the graphic does all by itself. Now to me it looks like a bunch of very bright arrows. So you'd think the name would be bright, correct? Well now I'm going to turn on the text element to see what word Cyberlink decided to use. Hmm, now you tell me. Isn't that an obvious misspelling of the word bright? Otherwise, I have no idea what a B-R-I-G-N-T would be. Ah, Cyberlink, obviously you still don't believe in using beta testers. Now I have written Cyberlink support about the misspelling. It's been a few days and I haven't heard back from them. And I can't wait to hear their answer. I hope they don't try to cover up the mistake and say something like, Oh, that's exactly what we wanted to say. Yeah, right. Now, for the one thing that they did change. If you remember, in the May update, they removed the volume control icon from the preview window. After I complained about that, Cyberlink's answer was to use the playbacks menu and select Adjust System Volume, or use the control plus U key from there. Well, good folks, now in this June update, guess what they took out of the playback menu. If you guessed the adjust system volume option, you are correct. And to make matters worse, they also took out the control plus U option. I don't understand their thinking. As it stands right now, there is no means to adjust the volume in PowerDirector. Well, actually there is. And I hesitate to mention it because as soon as they see my video, they'll be taking that out in the next update. The only volume control that still exists is available when you view the preview window in full screen mode. You can use either the icon or you can right click on the window or you can just hit the key F. Once the full screen appears, you can adjust the volume 
and then hit F again to return back to the normal editing window. Simple, right? Well, let's see if they figure that out and they take that out in the next update. And that's it. If any of you viewers notice any other things, leave a comment below. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead, do it. Hit that subscribe button. To all of you, thanks for watching.